The truth is that wormholes are all around us. Only they're too small to see. Wormholes are very tiny. They occur in nooks and crannies in space and time. You might find it a tough concept, but stay with me. Nothing is flat or solid. If you look closely enough at anything, you'll find holes and wrinkles in it. It's a basic physical principle, and it even applies to time. Take this pool table. The surface looks flat and smooth, but up close, it's actually anything but. It's full of gaps and holes. Even something as smooth as a pool ball has tiny crevices, wrinkles, and voids. Now, it's easy to show that this is true in the first three dimensions, but trust me, it's also true of the fourth dimension as well. There are tiny crevices, wrinkles, and voids in time. Down at the smallest of scales, smaller even than molecules, smaller than atoms. We get to a place called the quantum foam. This is where wormholes exist. Tiny tunnels or shortcuts through space and time constantly form, disappear, and reform within this quantum world. And they actually link two separate places and two different times. Unfortunately, these real-life time tunnels are just a billion trillion trillionths of a centimeter across way too small for a human to pass through. But here's where the notion of wormhole time machines is leading. Some scientists think it may be possible to capture one and enlarge it many trillions of times to make it big enough for a human or even a spaceship to enter. Given enough power and advanced technology, perhaps a giant wormhole could even be constructed in space. I'm not saying it can be done, but if it could be, it would be a truly remarkable device. One end could be here near the Earth, and the other far, far away near some distant planet. Theoretically, a wormhole could do even more. If both ends were in the same place and separated by time instead of distance, a ship could fly in and come out still near the Earth, but in the distant past. Dinosaurs would witness the ship coming in for a landing. 